Today is going to be my second video of Florida Virtual School. So if you haven't seen my first video, like I would totally say click below into my description box and I have a link of it. So this is my follow up to my first video and I think we're going to keep making videos on Florida Virtual here and there to kind of let everybody know about our journey. Um, but we are... Oh, a month and a half in right now like week six and a uh, reminder for everybody I have a seventh grader she came out of traditional school midway through her seventh grade year here in Florida and our background is we had always been at Florida public schools we were never in private um, we had pretty much stayed at the same elementary same middle and my kid came to me asking for this and we had known several people who had done the program prior so we had some good guidance and my reasoning to do these videos is to guide people and to help them so week six I love it she loves it but it is an adjustment so if you're sitting here and you're thinking about moving your kid over and they're in middle school or high school, be prepared. Just, just, just be prepared. <laughs> be prepared that your kid is going to struggle and they're going to not really understand how to time manage right away. Because that's not something the public school really teaches. This is completely different. Um... So as we sit here today, my kid's in five classes. She's in her service class, which is required in seventh grade here in Florida. She's in language arts, she's in a math, and she is in um, photography. And she is in, I'm missing something else. Math, science, English, civics, photography. There you go. So she's got two Bs. A C, a D, and A. We have found that this is much more demanding than our public school system ever was, which is good. Like, this is not a negative. This is good because you want your kid prepared for college. And I definitely think that this is giving her a good preparation for college. But we are having some growing pains. And that's okay because... I talked to one of her teachers last week, and like she said, it's better for her to learn this now than in high school, than in college, because half the reason why we did this is what we want our kid to do dual enrollment. Um, she left the school system with a 3.9 GPA, um, all A is 1B here and there, if it ever happened. Um, so we have a really good student on our hands, but we like sat in the bedroom last night and just cried. I didn't cry, she cried. <sighs> Because it's so demanding. Like the teachers are asking for way more than typical school is, which is good. It's a good thing. So if you're thinking about doing Florida Virtual and you're worried about the curriculum and them being up to standard, that is not a worry at all. Like I would probably worry more on the send away programs. Um, the little bit I know, I don't really know about the Abeka program. Um, I am super positive that this program is going to prep her for college and to take her SAT, ACT, um, ASVAP, whatever she needs to take, it's going to prep her. And I'm very happy with that. But just be prepared. Take some deep breaths. Moms have to walk out of the room sometimes, especially with middle schoolers. This is going to be an adjustment period. Probably your entire first segment is going to be an adjustment period. And when I say segment, that means a semester in Florida Virtual if you're not familiar with it. So our six week checkup, we are doing great. We are learning. She's excited to learn even the classes where she's struggling. Math, of course, is her D. Um, almost a C, talk to the math teacher twice a week. Um, the communication is amazing, like absolutely amazing. I talk to majority of the teachers every week, maybe sometimes twice a week. They are open. They want to talk to you. They want to help your student. And it's not like the public school system. These teachers are dedicated eight to eight most days, unless they have a personal conflict, to helping all the students in their classes. So they may have 100 students in their class, 
but they are reachable, they're attainable. You can email them, you can call them, you can text message them, they're going to call you back, they're going to email you back, you're going to get an answer and you're going to get help. So six week check-in, it's positive. We're not going anywhere, we're not coming off the program. We are just struggling and I just made this quick video today to tell the moms and dads out there, just prepare, just prepare. It's, you can't prepare for it like ahead of time. Just prepare, there's gonna be a struggle. Most likely going to be a struggle, um, but that's okay because it's better for us to help them through the struggle now than them being 20 in college struggling. So that's it for now. Subscribe to my page. We're not just doing vegan videos. We're doing Florida virtual videos and we're going to be doing some other videos pretty soon. Um, Florida lifestyle videos, things like that. So subscribe, comment, like, let me know who you are. Maybe we can connect if you guys are Florida virtual families or you're thinking about doing the Florida virtual program. I would more than happy be happy to talk to you guys, help you guys through. Um, I know that I've spent a lot of time with local families that we know lately talking to them because they're thinking about making the jump as well. So that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.